Hey, welcome back everyone to Blue Ridge Silverhound, and I'm your host, Sean, and there's only one conceivable reason why you're here today. You want to know more about the coins that you find out in circulation. Maybe it's in pocket change, or maybe you get like going through coin rolls. Today, we have a fantastic coin to talk about, and it's probably one that doesn't get its due because of its date. It's the 1979 Jefferson Nickel. All right, so it's a, it's again, it's a date that not a lot of people give a lot of credence or credit to because of just the sheer number of them. There's not really a whole bunch of varieties to look for, but that might be a big mistake because I'm telling you right now, there are certain high grades that are absolutely rare in this particular date. It is one of the toughest to find uh just in general at high grades and if you were able to find one in change or in rolls you might have a hot little instant win lottery ticket in your hands so i'm happy to introduce a 1979 jefferson nickel but before we get started i gotta do my good old youtube thing and um again uh like share subscribe hit the bell for instant notifications i'll be doing giveaways all summer long uh so if you're into that sort of thing i uh personally invite you to take part in that and uh, furthermore you'll just get the instant notifications on a new video upload as I make it happen so let's go ahead and get started on these 1979 nickels okay and then we're gonna start off of course with the 1979 P Jefferson nickel now the Philadelphia minted nickels will not have a physical mint mark okay these are usually blank right next to the date is where you'll find, you know, like maybe a Denver Mint Mark or an S if it's a proof San Francisco coin. But in this particular case, the Philadelphia Minted coin, there is no shortage of them whatsoever. 463,188,000 pieces were produced in 1979. So let's say you're into the whole grading thing, okay? A lot of people are, okay? Like people like to grade them, flip them, make a few bucks in the process. Uh, but did you know that you can make more than a few dollars doing this? Okay, there's a lot of opportunity that are not, not a lot of people are taking advantage of. So the top grade through PCGS for A79 Philadelphia is Mint State 66 with full steps, okay, in which there are only 21 graded at such a numerical level. All right, so 66 full steps is the highest grade assigned by PCGS. Some of you are going to ask, what exactly is full steps? Well, it has a lot to do with the strike of the coin. 1979, you know, was beginning to get its act together at the U.S. Mint. All right, they were taking better care of their dyes and, you know, just the overall maintenance was a lot better. What do I mean by that? Well, they would re-engrave certain features on the coin to ensure that it gives off a great strong strike when they make these coins um, and one of those attributes is actually the set of steps on the reverse on Monticello, that building. So you have that little set of steps right down the middle, uh, all of which are separated by six distinguishable lines. So as long as you have six full lines that go all, all the way across from left to right on that set of steps, and they are interruption free, then you'll have something that's called a full steps coin. So let's talk a little bit about what the highest uh, dollar amount value that this coin has sold for in 66 full steps. Well, I'm happy to say that one example just recently sold through Great Collections, June 9th, 2019, in the amount of $2,706.75. So it's a lot of money. But keep this in perspective, okay? It's only going to be a matter of time before the very first Mint State 67 full steps comes to the market. How much do you think that'll be? You know, the sky's kind of the limit based on what, you know, an individual Jefferson Nickel specialist is willing to pay for that coin. Are we talking 5000 10000 You never know. It's going to be fun to speculate and see. But again, if you find it, you know, the money will come with it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next corresponding business strike coin, and that is the 1979D uh, Jefferson Nickel. This one right here, again, much like the Philadelphia, no shortage. Uh, the mintage is a little bit less at 325,867,672 total pieces were produced 
by the Denver Mint. So the highest grade assigned by PCGS on this coin is Mint State 67 with full steps, in which only one example exists at that grade level. So let's go ahead and talk about the highest price for this coin, and I'm happy to say that that one singular Mint State 67 full steps did indeed make it out to the market. Great Collections was the hosting auction service of this particular coin on May 20th, 2018, and this one sold for $4,001.38. Now, holy smokes, that's a lot of money for a coin that typically a lot of people overlook, okay? Again, 1979 is not the sexiest date in coins in general. So again, take a second look at your coins. If you have something really nice with a lot of strong details, or if you're going through BU rolls or maybe coin rolls, okay, this is one that should, should never be overlooked. So let's go ahead and jump into some notable errors for the 1979 Jefferson Nichols. Okay, as, as fun as looking for high grade coins can be, it could be a little challenging if not daunting. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other avenues where you could capitalize on finding some really nice finds and possibly either enhancing your collection or maybe perhaps selling it and making a few dollars in the process. So the first coin that I want to talk about is a 1979P. All right, this one right here, this Jefferson Nickel is 60% 60, 60 off center. So it was struck off center. This one graded NGC, Mint State 64. And this one sold on Great Collections for $46.12, December 17th, 2017. All right. Not one that I would say you would typically find in change just because of the size and just the, you know, just the oblong look of the coin. But, you know, you never know when these will pop up. Okay. You might find one in a small collection that someone's willing to kind of like give away for free. You know, as part of like a group buy, you, you just never know where these going to come up. So the next coin I want to talk about here is uh, something that's unique that, you know, a lot of people will mistake as damage. Okay. And what we have here is a 79P nickel that is struck through a late stage die cap. Okay. And what that is, is, you know, let's say uh, um, the minting presses are striking these coins at, at a such a fast high rate. Um, that one of the actual coins gets stuck on the hammer die, okay, which will usually have the obverse design. So it'll be stuck on there. It won't wedge out for any reason, okay? So with that cap, that coin stuck to the die, it's going to strike subsequent other coins. So let's say a mint press operator doesn't recognize the error until probably 500 or 1,000 strikes later. So at the tail end of w in which they discover this coin stuck to the die okay it's already gone through a thousand strikes so they you know by the time they pop it off and you know fix the dies and everything like that you have gone through a point where it's a late stage okay so the the coin's been hammered onto that die uh for many strikes all right and um you know after a while the thing gets so thin you know, the, the actual coin on there after a bunch of strikes that it, you know, it's in the late stage process of that error. All right. So this one right here sold for $47 on Great Collections, November 9th, 2014. Hopefully I didn't bore you with that explanation, but some people want and like and appreciate that kind of explanation. So coming up next here, we have another Philadelphia minted coin. Okay. This nickel right here, much like the first example, keep in mind, these are two different coins. This one was struck 60% off center, okay? And this one graded a little bit higher at NGC Mint State 66. And this one sold for $62.49 on Great Collections, December 17th, 2017. All right, another one that's least likely to come up and change, but you never know. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next coin here. And this one is a little bit unique. Again, just like the first and the third coin on the list, least likely to come across. This is another Philadelphia minted Jefferson nickel. This one struck 35% off center on a curved clipped planchet. Okay, you can see a little bit of a clip right there between the two and three o'clock position on the coin. 
So this one has exhibited some sort of, uh, I don't know if it's circulation, but this one exhibits a little bit of counter wheel mark damage, okay? So this, this coin was at one point, along with a batch of other nickels uh, that went through the, um, the rolling process. All right, so this one graded NGC Unk details. So it's uncirculated, but it's details because of the damage. This one sold for $64.74 on Great Collections, December 17th of 2017. Okay, pretty nice, unique coin right here. So the next one that we have here is going to be another 79P. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This one's actually a flip over double struck coin. Okay, the second strike is 85% off center to the primary. This one graded NGC Mint State 62. So, uh, you know, it looks like it's received a little bit of circulation in its time and uh, it didn't take long before someone discovered it. This one sold on Great Collections for $92.25 and this one sold on May 5th, 2019. So, this is a recent sale. So we have a total of 10 error coins, so we're halfway through the list. The next one that I wanted to discuss here today is another error, okay? And these, these five are going to be similar, but you're going to see a pattern. And the reason why I put five of the same coin on the list is that these have effectively sold for the most amount of money in terms of errors. But you'll see just by the grades of these coins that these were discovered um, in circulation at some point. So this one right here is a 79P. This one was struck on a one cent blank um, bronze planchet intended for a Lincoln penny. Okay, this one weighed in at 3.07 grams, which is well within the tolerances for this coin. This one graded NGC Mint State 62 Brown, and this one sold for $158.62 on Great Collections, December 17th of 2017. All right, so the next coin right here, it's similar in fashion. This one is another Philadelphia minted coin. This one was struck on a one cent blank, 3.1 grams bronze planchet. This one, however, graded NGC Mint State 63 Red Brown. And this one sold for $220 through Great Collections, April 23rd of 2017. And the next one that we have here is another coin of the same type. Okay, this one grades out even higher still. This one is an NGC Mint State 65 Red Brown. And this one sold for $247.50 June 19th of 2016. And uh, let's see, the fourth coin in this type of series is going to be another Philadelphia minted coin. Uh, same deal, okay, struck on a bronze, I was going to say blonde, bronze sent planchet this one graded pcgs mint state 63 red and this one okay you can see the price is going up this one sold for 320 dollars and 62 cents january 7th of 2018 on great collections and finally we're going to end it off on the most expensive coin on the list ironically it's the same type of strike same error this one was struck on another bronze planchet this one weighed in at 3.08 grams again within the tolerances this one graded NGC Mint State 62 Red Brown. Okay, so this one definitely saw a little bit of action in circulation and uh, probably mistakenly looks like a penny. This one sold on Great Collections for $423.50, April 17th of 2016. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the neat and interesting coins for 1979 for the Jefferson Nichols. Again, do not overlook this coin. There are a lot of rarities and valuable coins to be found in just about every date. You just have to know exactly what you're looking for. Again, I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all the views and support. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day.